the blood, the life of the flesh prophecy and fulfillment. In the pages of the Bible, prophecies provide profound insights into the nature and significance of various elements of God's redemptive plan. One such prophecy is found in Leviticus 17 verse 11, where God reveals the sacred importance of blood in the process of atonement for sin. This prophecy declares, For the life of the flesh is in the blood, and I have given it for you on the altar to make atonement for your souls, for it is the blood that makes atonement by the life. Little did the Israelites know that this profound declaration would find its ultimate fulfillment in the person and work of Jesus Christ. The fulfillment is revealed in the New Testament, particularly in Matthew 26 verse 28 and Mark 10 verse 45, where Jesus himself proclaims the significance of his blood as the means of redemption and atonement for all humanity. The connection between these passages illuminates the profound significance of Jesus Christ as the fulfillment of the ancient prophecy offering his own blood as the ultimate sacrifice to reconcile sinners with God and grant them eternal life. Leviticus 17 verse 11 The Prophecy In the book of Leviticus, God provides detailed instructions regarding various rituals and sacrifices, including the offering of blood for atonement. Leviticus 17 verse 11 highlights the sacred significance of blood and its role in the atonement process. For the life of the flesh is in the blood, and I have given it for you on the altar to make atonement for your souls, for it is the blood that makes atonement by the life. In this prophecy, God establishes the principle that the life of a living being is in its blood, and he designates blood as the means of atonement, symbolizing the transfer of life to secure forgiveness and reconciliation between the sinner and God. This foreshadows the coming of the Messiah, who would offer his own lifeblood as the ultimate and perfect atonement for the sins of humanity. Matthew 26 verse 28 The Fulfillment In the New Testament book of Matthew, the fulfillment of Leviticus 17 verse 11 is unveiled during the Last Supper, where Jesus shares a significant moment with his disciples. In Matthew 26 verse 28, Jesus proclaims the significance of his blood as the means of atonement and redemption. For this is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. In this fulfillment, Jesus, the Lamb of God, identifies his blood as the essence of the new covenant, which is poured out as the sacrificial offering to secure forgiveness and reconciliation with God for all who believe in him. Mark 10 verse 45 The Affirmation In the New Testament book of Mark, the significance of Jesus' blood as the means of redemption is further affirmed in Mark 10 verse 45. Jesus himself proclaims the purpose of his coming. For even the Son of Man came not to be served but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. In this affirmation, Jesus affirms his mission as the ultimate servant, willingly offering his lifeblood as a ransom to redeem and save humanity from the bondage of sin. Teachings and Day-to-Day -day Applications The prophecy in Leviticus 17 verse 11 and its fulfillment in Matthew 26 verse 28 and Mark 10 verse 45 carry profound teachings and applications for believers. The sacred significance of blood, the fulfillment underscores the sacred importance of blood, which serves as the means of atonement and redemption in God's redemptive plan. Jesus' blood as the ultimate sacrifice. The prophecy and fulfillment highlight Jesus' blood as the ultimate and perfect sacrifice, poured out for the forgiveness and redemption of sinners. The new covenant in Christ's blood, the fulfillment reveals Jesus' blood as the essence of the new covenant securing reconciliation and eternal life for all who believe in him. The selfless sacrifice of Christ, the fulfillment emphasizes Jesus' selfless act of offering his lifeblood as a ransom to save humanity from sin and death. The call to embrace redemption, the fulfillment calls believers to embrace the redemption and forgiveness offered through Jesus' blood, surrendering their lives to the transforming power of his sacrificial love. In day-to-day -day life, the understanding of this prophecy and its fulfillment deepens believers' appreciation for Jesus Christ as the Lamb of God, offering His lifeblood as the ultimate sacrifice for their salvation. It inspires gratitude for His sacrificial love and motivates us to live in obedience and devotion to Him. Moreover, it empowers us to boldly approach God's throne of grace, knowing that we have been reconciled with Him through the precious blood of Christ. Furthermore, it encourages us to share the message of redemption with others, inviting them to experience the transformative power of Jesus' blood in their lives. Conclusion 
The prophecy in Leviticus 17 verse 11, declaring the sacred significance of blood as the means of atonement, finds its profound fulfillment in the New Testament, as revealed in Matthew 26 verse 28 and Mark 10 verse 45. This remarkable fulfillment points to Jesus Christ as the fulfillment of the ancient prophecy, offering his own blood as the ultimate and perfect sacrifice for the forgiveness and redemption of sinners. As we reflect on this prophecy and its fulfillment, we are reminded of the sacrificial love and redemptive power of Jesus' blood. May we embrace the call to surrender our lives to him, accepting his forgiveness and walking in the newness of life that his blood provides. Furthermore, May we proclaim the transformative power of Jesus' blood, inviting others to experience the freedom and joy found in the atoning work of the Lamb of God.